And a lot of firewalls actually operate in this manner and, and they're, they're quite, quite effective. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, give you a, quite a simple example of how a stateful firewall operates and give you an example of that. So what I've got here are, are two uh, networks. We've got a LAN and we have an OPT1. And just to do a quick overview of my, my LAN firewalls, I've got my, lo my default lockout rule. And then I have a rule here that allows me to do to do anything, right? IPv4, IPv6, any protocol, anybody on my network can go out and just do anything. Uh, let's take a look at what an example of what we can do here. If we, if we go up to our terminal, send some ICMP traffic over to Google, and they respond to it. Great. That's what I that's what I want to be able to do. I can go out to I can go and do whatever I whatever I want. But if I look at my opt one network, I have a, a couple restrictions going on here. So we have a, a rule here that says anybody on this network is allowed to go out to the internet and that's it. That's the only thing they can do. If I were to go over to the machine that's actually on that network, let's take a look at what, what we can do. So we can go to the internet. I'm not going to show that. But what I want to do is I want to actually ping out to Google, just like I did on the Kali machine. And as you can see, my ping didn't make it out to, to Google. And that's because we have a firewall rule that's that's only allowing this kind of traffic, TCP and UDP. We're not allowing ICMP traffic out. So if I go back to my Kali machine here, and I do, I take a look at the IP address that we have on here. The address over here is 10.13. So if I were to ping that that IP address from the Windows machine, I wouldn't be able to do it. It wouldn't work. Uh, over here, my IP address is 50.10. Great. Now, if I were to ping from this machine, I would be able to do that. Now, what makes a stateful firewall interesting is that you have to think about how does traffic across a network work. When I send a packet to a server, when I send a packet to a website, a web server to another machine on the network, what's going to happen is that I'm going to evoke a response from that recipient. It's going to say, hey, I got your packet, and I'm going to respond to it. Maybe it's a reset. Maybe it's a, a SYN act, the, the second part of the three-way handshake. Uh, but what's interesting about the stateful firewall is that when I send a packet out of my network, I'm going to evoke a response from whomever I'm sending it to, and that packet is gonna there's gonna be a packet that's gonna be sent back to me, and I'm gonna it's gonna come through my firewall to the original sender. So what's what's what what's interesting about the stateful firewall here is that where when I when I ping that machine, let's go let's ping the Kali machine. Nothing is working, right? It's it's hanging. It didn't make it through, and that's that's by design. But if we think about the the packet starting here, going to our Windows 10, and then responding, a packet is coming back to our Kali machine. So while it may have failed here, a packet did come through, and that's what the that's the glory of the stateful firewall is that when a packet goes out, the state is remembered of that packet. And when the response comes back, it comes back through the same the same way. So let's go ahead and ping the 50.10 machine. And there you go. My firewall is saying that I'm allowing all traffic out of my LAN network to anywhere and that includes my opt1 network
And even though I've got a firewall rule over here blocking or not specifically saying that ICMPs are allowed back anywhere, that 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 traffic is able to still make it back to its original sender, which was in the, the LAN network. And that's the same thing for if I were to go out to the internet, okay? When I, by default, PFSense is a deny all. So if I were to be an external resource and I was trying to send a uh, ping into my, my network inside of this, this network that I've got set up here, it wouldn't work because it's a deny all. But if I were to send a packet starting from the inside out to the internet, that packet is going to be allowed back in because it re that state of that packet is remembered. So there we have, I'm, I'm pinging an external resource. And because that, that state is remembered, that packet is allowed back in. I sent out an echo request, an echo reply came back in through my firewall to my 10.13 machine. And a very high level, that's how that's how a stateful firewall works. This is a very simple example. And it can get a lot more complicated uh, between between networks. But that's basically that's basically it. And it's 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 awesome. Alright, well hopefully that helped and cleared a little bit up about stateful firewalls. Alright. Thanks. Bye.